so this morning we woke up and we're feeling a lot better. So we're gonna go to the Plaza de Armas and try to do a walking tour of the city. There's about 14 or 15 sites and I think it's about only four to five kilometers, but there's lots of stairs. giant wall goes all the way across this uh, block and they're made with no mortar so these are just giant rocks that are chiseled perfectly so they fit together and apparently you can't even put a piece of paper in between there Back at the hostel, and we wanted to show you what kind of foods we found for the first couple days. When you're at high altitude, they say to eat very small meals very often, and it's really true because a lot of the times, if you eat a big meal, you feel really sick afterwards. I'll show you what we got and tell you how much everything was. So I'll start with the very obvious vegan meal, bananas. <laughs> We found this little package at a local market. Um, it's basically uh, 2.5 soles per four bananas. Next up, we found obviously we eat quite a bit, but uh, multigrain bread and mixed with the peanut butter and the banana, you have yourself a nice little snack to take on the go. Uh, we went to the San Pedro market today and we picked up a couple of really fun things. So we got some cashews. Um, these were five soles. Yep. And then we also got some dried kiwi and we ate all of it. We also got some Inca chips, which are basically plantain chips. We got some soy milk, really great for coffee. We're thinking about maybe getting some cereal as well. We thought we'd get a little bit adventurous with this one and we grabbed some soursop. If you have not tried this fruit, you need to. Wait until it's really soft and ripe. It's the sweetest thing, like sweeter than mango, sweeter than banana. It's delicious. We're gonna eat this in a couple days and I cannot wait. Clementines are abundant in Cusco. These are about uh, two soles and 79 cent soles. They're pretty cheap. If you know us well enough, you know that wherever we find Oreos, we buy them. Perfect vegan snack. These ones are nice because they come in a pack of six packs of four. So you can just grab a pack, throw it in your bag, and you're good to go. So when we got here, we were feeling a little bit um, sick from the altitude, to say the least. And we were told by everyone that we should start chewing on some coca leaves. So we did. 
um, they actually do work. I didn't feel any different, but a lot of people say that it's kind of like a stimulant, a little bit like drinking a tea or a coffee with caffeine in it. Baggies like these, you can find them at any market at all, like down every street, you'll find a bunch of them. Uh, they're about a sole, so they're very cheap. Uh, way to make yourself feel a little bit better and don't worry it's not like cocaine it's like eating grapes before they're turned into wine it didn't actually rain like we thought that it would so we decided that we're gonna go climb some ruins at where? this mountain right here I don't know if you can see it but there's a big cross at the top so we're gonna go check it out and see what it's all about <laughs> Crystal Blanco at the top of Cusco. Look at the view. Okay, we didn't end up going there. We walked all the way to the top of this giant staircase only to find out that people at the bottom were trying to haggle us for like paying 170 souls each to get to the top. Each. So we went all the way to the top just to see and there was like an official man there and he was saying that it was 70 souls each. So we didn't end up going. We did go to Cristo Blanco though and that was pretty cool, it's free. Yeah, so you get to Cristo Blanco by going up a few alleyways and then you could basically walk from Cristo Blanco to the entrance of the ruins and you know, they're, they're really cool but I don't think it's really worth that 170 yeah. souls. Just got back from the ruins. That was an adventure to say the least, but we didn't really feel like paying all that money just to see some ruins. We're gonna be seeing a lot of them on this trip. We're getting a lot of questions on social media about altitude sickness. We were gonna just run through a couple things that we found that helped us and what our symptoms were and maybe it can help you in the future. When we landed in Cusco, I had a headache because we didn't really sleep very well that night or the night before. What we noticed right away was that climbing stairs, you'd get out of breath really easily. I'm saying like four or five stairs, we were <laughs> yeah, needing yeah. to stop to breathe. It was pretty bad. Especially we, with all your luggage too. We got here, uh, drank a bunch of water and just slept when we could. Sleeping made us feel a lot better, but then we started getting other symptoms. I got super nauseous and couldn't really keep any food down. So Brady went to the market and he picked up some coca leaves. We chewed on those. I'm not sure if it helped, but I pretty much just passed out, woke up the next morning and I feel fine today. I haven't really had too much symptoms. Um, we've been taking the medication, uh, Diamox, which um, is helping a bit. Diamox made our fingers a little bit tingly. Oh, they're still tingly. Yeah, they're still tingly. Yeah, besides that, just uh, take things easy. Drink lots of water. Small meals is good. We just went to the market to get some groceries for dinner. And for breakfast tomorrow, we got cornflakes and soy milk. <laughs> we forgot to tell you what we're eating for dinner. So we couldn't find any vegetables really besides at the market, but the market was closed when we were looking. So we just went to a little grocery store. We grabbed some tortillas, um, a can of corn, a can of black beans, which we realized we don't have a can opener for, so we opened it with a knife. I think so, so. so we're gonna eat dinner. Uh, this will probably be it for the night, so 
watch tomorrow's vlog and don't forget to subscribe right here and give us a big old like to show us some support. Bye!